So it's his Tebow who paid off. Yeah, and Will Jack saves me from trying to pronounce. Ready? Go ahead. Proskin Atopoulos. Proskin Atopoulos. Is that go. good? There you go. Jeff Tart, is that all right? Our producer in the truck. Well, quick pin. And here we go with 182 behind us. The featured bout between Danbury and Fairfield Ward at 195 pounds. Tyler Hancock and Joey Marks. Two seniors, both with 20 wins. There you see Tyler Hancock, 20 and four out <laughs> of the year. Getting the Heisman in. <laughs> and Joey Marks, also a senior, three sport athlete. He'll be headed to Bryant next year to play lacrosse. Here though, he's trying to salvage this dual meet at Danbury. Hatters have now gone ahead by 30, 39 to 9. The team score. Yeah, Joey Mars, 20 and 7. Three sport athlete, like you said, lacrosse, football. And he's going to head out to the Northeast Conference as a defenseman for Bryant. Quick head gear loose. Joey Mars. Here we go. Mars is not the most experienced wrestler, but makes up for it. With his intensity right there, showing showcasing. It's the first two points of this match. And there's a neutral point from Hancock. Hancock, he's a pinner, a senior. And the final sets of brothers that we have seen from Danbury as they restart. Coach said he'll probably play football in college in West Western Connecticut. He's looking at him hardcore. Center defensive lineman. You can see some of that tenacity right there from Hancock. So a quick throw Ooh. on the edge of the mat. He kept both feet in, but majority of his body out. And no points awarded. Two to one marks in front of Hancock. A minute to go here in the first period. a little bit shorter than Marks. A lot of leverage here. Seems to get inside the body and throw. So tough. Great takedown right there. Two more points. Picks up another two before they go out. They're going to restart it. And Danbury has clinched the duel here. 344 straight. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Never seen anything like that. It's scary. Yeah. <laughs> well, improved to 11 to 0. This Fairfield Ward has won just two matches. And you see Ricky Shook, mastermind behind the Danbury program from top to bottom. Number one ranked team in all of Connecticut. Traveling into Ward. And Taking care of the seventh ranked team in the state. And Ricky Shook, you know, a big wrestler in his day at Central Connecticut and Danbury. And he's been blessed with three daughters. No boys in his family. 17, 15, and 13. Taylor, Kennedy, and Ricky. They come to a lot of the matches. A cheerleader on the cheerleader squad with Taylor. And they're going to be the managers next year for the wrestling team. Wife Kim. I'm sure they won't need any kind of tutorial <laughs> on how to score no. wrestling matches. They've seen it their whole life, and Kim, his wife, 20 years. She works over in the elementary school as an aide. Wrestling is a common theme in their household. Marks on top, he trails by one. Tyler Hancock. This is the featured matchup. Interesting with Sh Coach Shook, and, you know, having daughters 17, 15, and 13, same age pretty much of kids on his team. So he's seen these kids grow up because they've been friends with his daughters their entire lives. So almost like a father figure. 
turn in the works. Nothing yet. There's the two reversal points for Tyler Hancock. Quick movement. And he's 195 pounders. We haven't seen any outrageous shoe designs here tonight. I know. Broken our streak. Hey, we got two more to go. Three more to go. Two. Two more matches to go. Three overall with this one. We haven't seen any crazy designs. One green, one red, one orange, one blue. Watermelon color. <laughs> Pretty conservative guys. Well, they have team issued socks, do they? Remember? So they have the actual yeah, hatter on the, on the orange sock. That, that's pretty different. 6 2, Hancock ahead. 25 seconds to go here in the second period. In, getting some grip control on the wrist. Mark's able to get up to his feet. He kind of breaks him back down. Five seconds to go. Ahead by four. Just two matches after this one at 220 and 285. Take a look at Jason Shaughnessy on the left side of your screen. Ricky Shook on the right, both with over 10 years' experience at their respective schools. We talked about it at the top. Coach Shaughnessy is so proud of his son, who's 10 years old, starting to really love wrestling. He actually coaches his son, Cole, at the elementary school youth level. And Cole just won his first wrestling tournament this past weekend, so he is jacked up. He won 3-0, I believe. Tied up. See Hancock with the underhook. The left arm of Marks. And they back out. And separate. At 220, it'll be Eddie Garcia and David Wolf. And then Mike Money for Fairfield Ward against Javon Pegas. Danbury. Just over a minute left to go here in the third period at a 195. 6 to 2, a tight one. One of the tighter matches we've seen so far. At 160, you had Ryan Peterson defeat Thomas and Nanya 5 to 1. Also, one of the two wins for Fairfield Ward was a close match at 126 between Danny Almeida and Frank Calisi. 3 0 in favor of Almeida. That put Ward on the board, and after that, Farrell Egan. Got a pin for the Mustangs at 132 since then. And Murray has won six straight matches. Six two Hancock. Inside 30 seconds in the third. And a quick two reversal points. So Tyler Hancock goes ahead by six. You hear Ricky Shook in the background. Tyler Hancock not to wrestle and let him up. Here we go, though. Eight to three now. But Tyler Hancock at 195 continues the trend for the Hatters. It'll be seven matches in a row. That Danbury comes out on top. Tyler Hancock with an 8-3 victory over Joey Marks with Fairfield Ward. And Tyler Hancock improves to 21 and 4. Here in the senior season for the Hatters. Hancock all smiles. Seven straight wins for the Hatters. We're back to close it out. They're ahead, 42-9 over the Mustangs.